This video shows you how to use the Available Forms Tracker to match. The Available Forms Tracker includes all of the currently available exchange participants and all of the currently available TN takers in one easy to use document. So I'll show you how to use the pivot tables to be able to match. So let's take an example. Let's say in my LC I have 10 DTTN takers that are currently looking for EPs. The internships are available or have a duration of two months. They require someone who can speak Spanish, at least on a basic level. The earliest starting date is April 2008, and the latest starting date is July. So now I'm going to use the pivot table to find EPs that would suit my TNs. So first I'm going to select the DT pool, since my TNs are available in the DT pool. And it's probably most likely I'll find really good EPs available in that pool that ma to match with my TNs. And then I want to look for the starting months. So I want to look for the EPs that want to start the internship at the time my TN takers want the EPs to arrive. So I'm going to select April, May, June, and July. And then I'm going to put that up here. Now I want to put the EP IDs here. And now I want to look more specifically at which countries have these EPs available. Great, so now I can see that there's 93 DTEPs available that would be ready to start on an internship between April and July. So I'm going to double click 93 and now I can see a new table that includes all the EPIDs. It also includes the countries, the LCs, and I can see more information on the working fields for the EPs. And I can also see their languages. So I can scroll through here to try to identify which are the EPs that at least speak a basic level of Spanish. And then once I've selected them, I can see the EP manager that I can contact so I can see if they'd be interested in matching with my TN.